Hey, welcome to the book of Luke. We're in chapter 14, today verses 13 and 14. But when you give a feast, Jesus says, invite the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you, for you shall be repaid at the resurrection of the just. So it's kind of interesting here, this business about repayment. So people, we want to give a, a, a special occasion, a special meal or something, and we want to bring our friends over, you know, and then and then they'll invite us over. We wind up over at their place and it's kind of a mutual, hey, we're all, we're kind of a group together. Jesus says, be careful. He says, look for those that you can bless. Look for the ones who, who don't have anything. Look for people who will actually be benefited by the feast. So he says, those are the people you invite. When you invite everybody else, you know, you just, it's just kind of par for the course. But if you invite somebody who is not going to be bringing a nice dish back at the next time, you invite somebody that really doesn't have anything to give, you are actually giving out to them, then you will be blessed. And he says, when will you be repaid? Not necessarily at the next meal or the next occasion, the next picnic, the next special occasion. You will be repaid, he says, in the resurrection of the just. As we give to others... As we give out goodness into the world, we are echoing the picture that Jesus has. We're doing what Jesus did. Jesus was one who gave relentlessly. He wants that. He wants us to echo that. He wants us to give goodness out into the world without expectation of a big benefit in return. Sure, we'll get a return in the resurrection, but a lot of people don't really believe in the resurrection. And this life is all that is. This is the material plane. Everything is here. There's nothing we can't see. There's nothing that science can't see. So what's, what's a person like that going to do? Is a person like that ever going to just give out of their altruism, out of their goodness? They're just going to give good things out into the world? Well, in the big term, in the long term, maybe maybe not really too much of that because, look, this is all you, this is all you have. But for the Christian who sees a resurrection, a life after this one, there is an incentive to be kind and generous and to give to others. And so Christianity is, stands distinct from secular worldviews and other worldviews because in the other worldviews, you really don't have a good reason to give. Or maybe, you know, in some of these Eastern worldviews, uh, you want to, you know, upgrade your karmic cycle. So, yes, when you come back as you are reincarnated and moving up from smaller, you know, smaller bugs to, to bigger ones, <laughs> uh, you want to have done that, those good things to complete the cycle. Well, we don't have anything like that, but we do know that there's, we have this life and then the resurrection. This is we're this life and then the judgment, and then we go on into eternity, and there's not a continuous cycle. So good for Jesus, uh, certainly good for us if we do what he says, if we act such that we will bless others by giving and not expecting anything in return from them, God will recompense us in the resurrection of the just. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want this to be our attitude. We want to give from a cheerful spirit. Bless us, Lord, as we seek to copy the plan that Jesus has given us. And the world will certainly be a better place if more people give, not expecting to be recompensed by other people. Lord, bless us in this way by giving us opportunities to give, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may the blessings of God's kingdom flow out from you into this world. That's, that's my prayer today.